Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to the CryptoLogic Podcast. My name is Mike, your co-host, John. And today, we're going to help to make crypto logical for you. As long as you stay on the channel, right? Got to subscribe to the channel, man, because, you know, we're the coolest podcast literally on YouTube right now. So, let me kind of explain to you what's going to happen and what you can actually see on this channel, right? We're going to go over the entire crypto space, give you some understanding of where we are as a whole. Then we're going to go over some news of the day, some NFT news as well. Then we're going to give you even more perspective with Twitter, talk about, you know, what people are talking about on Twitter. And then we're going to go over the market gainers and losers of the day. All right. So it's an action packed show. So if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, what are you doing, man? Yeah. Go ahead and subscribe, subscribe to the channel, man. And like the video, Like fam. it. Just like it. Just, it's, it takes two seconds of your time. If you want to support your boys, you think we cool, you know what I'm saying? We're giving you this information, this action-packed show. Or the free. Go ahead and get that like button, man. It's a free thing to do. It's a friendly gesture. There you go. This is, Help just, us out Think of it like a high five, air high five, you know what I'm saying? All right. Bet. That's all it is. It's a high five. Let's move on, brother, to the entire crypto space. Now, as you guys can see, bro, we're down about 6% today, but we're still over that 2, two trillion. trillion. That's the key right there. That's the key, man. We're staying over 2 trillion. I was a little afraid a couple days ago, you know what I'm saying? I was like, oh, snap. We might be losing that 2 trillion, but hey, Bitcoin is it's trying to hold on, bro. It's, it's, it's trying to hold its dominance. But it's, it's just, it's slipping. It's slipping. I'm not a little worried bit. about I Bitcoin. Gonna, I ain't going to lie. I'm not worried about Bitcoin slipping because as Bitcoin slips, you still see that it's still over 2 trillion because the money. The, the flow of cash is still pumping into other alt is on on the other altcoins. Yeah. So yeah, it's holding. 100%. What's the dominance at anyway? Under 41? Uh, the dominance is no. It's, yeah, it's forty one point eight, and then Ethereum is eighteen point eight. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, eventually, Ethereum all the Ethereum is a what Ethereum is a two two x away from flipping Bitcoin in, in regards to market cap when it becomes number one. Yeah. Yeah. When that happens, buy buy a Bitcoin. Go 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 be go belong to the rich people. Go ahead, go over there. Yeah, Bitcoin. I feel like Bitcoin just will be a store of value. You know, what I'm saying? Like, a, a lot of people are saying that it's going to be like reach like 150 to 200 thousand per Bitcoin, which I think it will get there eventually. Um, once all the Bitcoin actually gets like out, like you can't buy anymore or whatever, or you oh, can't my. mine it anymore. Um, you know that it, the price will never fluctuate. You know what I'm saying? It'll just kind of stay well it'll be like thousand. nfts in a sense it's like um, like an nft dropping like 300 nfts and yeah there's only 300 of them look what happens to nfts at that point when you resell it, it's always gonna be higher when you resell it yeah. so people the price and that point will appreciate that way so if, if all the bitcoin is owned and there's none left on the open market or whatever right the value is going to keep rising per every time someone sells or something like that and it's just gonna it's gonna be ex exclusive yeah. It's going to be exclusive. Big boys are going to play with Bitcoin, yeah. bro. But for Ethereum, sure. Ethereum has passed Bitcoin in everything. Users, holders, smart everything. contracts. Yeah, everything. Dabs. The only thing it needs to pass on is volume, is the market cap. Yeah. 100%. I totally agree with you there. Now, Ethereum is at 3,200, still over 3,000. Uh, 3, so, not, not, not too bad there. I mean, you still are down about 8%. But, you know, I think that has to do with the NFTs and all of that stuff. So. That's just my opinion. Doesn't make it fact, though. Uh, Cardano sitting at $2.30. Now, a lot of people are a little freaking out, man. It's like September 10th right now, right? Yeah, September 10th. And they're like, on September 12th, Alonzo's going to be coming out. So is this like the buy the rumor, sell the news type? Or will we actually see Cardano go on an absolute tear this weekend? I don't think it's going to go on a tear right away. But I think it's just going to be positive news going forward, I think. It's going to be good for Cardano. Hopefully, hopefully, all you Cardano Wait holders, see. let Wait us know. See. What do you What do you guys think? Would you, you rather? Yeah, go ahead. Sorry. No, would you guys think? Do you, would you guys rather it go on absolute tear during this weekend, or would you rather a steady pace going up? Let us know. Yeah, I would mean, you? it's better. It's better to have these like something coming for Cardano than what it's been doing for two years. When yeah. will smart tracks contracts ever come? Hey, there's a date now. So don't be negative about it. <laughs> yeah. Be optimistic about it. It's There's a, actually a date. <laughs> we'll see. You know what I'm saying? Just saying. Take a look. Take a, take a look. <laughs> Shout out to those who know what that is, man. Um, USD, uh, Tether, whatever. It's fine. It um, passed Binance, though. <laughs> it did pass Binance, which is, which is kind of crazy. But Binance has been dipping a little lately, you know? Um, Binance hasn't really been in the like news a lot lately the just because the meme coin era is kind of dead right now you know what i'm saying pancake swap buying 
the shiba diba boo boo coins and all that yeah it's, you're not hearing about that too much anymore so I, I can't believe there's still people talking about shib there's really people yeah. still talking about shib and safe moon and like what the hell are you doing what are you doing why are you i mean putting your money in they're, the, they're chasing the hype it's man. crazy they're there's so the many hype. cryptos that you those are not those people when shib and safe moon get eradicated right well, that matches the SEC. The SEC is going after the safe moon. The, the, the CEO say, "Oh, we're done. Shut down. They're not yeah, gonna be, fight. They're gonna be gone. <laughs> there, there's nothing they can do that proves that they're not a security. That they have utility. There's nothing they can do. We, oh, have, a we have a swap. We have a swap. <laughs> they're going after you to swap too. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> when they go, when the SEC says, "Hey, we're investigating safe moon and sheep. You're gonna see safe moon and sheep. Yeah, get people rugged. People are gonna dump." People are gonna, gonna dump. dump, and those people are gonna leave crypto. I bet you. People are gonna because they have no idea. They're they gonna have dump no for idea. sure, hundred percent. I think. I think. Be, uh, I think Bitcoin will will continue to fall. Uh, I'm it gonna, could. I'm gonna go as as bold as to say it's gonna maybe drop out of the top ten. I'm gonna it say could. it's gonna drop hey, out of the hey. top ten. I, I I think so too. In 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 maybe five years. Yeah, 10 not years, not right away. When the big players are in, when the big players start um well i mean we can get a, we're gonna get to that later but when the big players start the, the big players are never gonna know what these technologies is most of them aren't right, right. unless you're like mark cuban and all that stuff right they, you know they're they're hands-on the the hands-off ceos the ones that just have someone else run their company that just hey how do i make my money they're gonna they're gonna pump the prices but through trust fund stuff and we're gonna get into that later but we'll explain i'll explain that later because i don't want to like Get too far off on a rant exactly <laughs> until we get on the news part now we talked about this yesterday <laughs> T actually two days ago we said uh that solana was going to lap xrp um and then then and then yesterday it did end up lapping uh xrp as far as market cap goes so it's all fine, uh you know it's fine you know we know what's going on with xrp and the lawsuit and everything of that nature so it's only a matter of time until xrp has its day um yeah, a lot of people are kind of hating on it right now it'll be a glorious day at but that. uh but it's fine man I, I still believe in xrp i still love the company I still love what it's going to do, um, and I'm still backing it. You know what I'm saying? It, at a 5% uh, loss today uh, or down today, um, still, you know, buying the dip on this. So, um, yeah, man, I, I, I'm still bullish on uh, on XRP. Anything else? Uh, Uniswap. Uniswap is taking a dip, man, because of that, uh, that news about the lawsuit. So that's down almost 10%, down almost 30% in the week. So, yeah, kind of kind of crazy uh where is poke uh not polka dot um where is pancake swap okay so pancake swap is down as well hmm. well everything is down though yeah it's, it's pretty red today guys i'm not even bloody gonna day lie. yesterday it was all green yeah it's like yeah but it wasn't it wasn't green so green like you made massive massive profits yeah unless it was you were recovering from that flash crash. unless you were in either xyo or one those two ones. blew up Solana that too. i know, of, solana, that I know too. Of. solana was a little bit high remember it, came back up. it bounced back up and then it dipped today it didn't it go over 200 or something yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. no i was just talking about the ones that i, I immediately oh, you okay. know what i'm saying and uh yeah because i was ugh, man i've been but, talking about one for a while i was like dude one's not doing anything two trillion one's not doing anything man two trillion market cap is still good though yeah 100 percent. like with we, back in a few months ago when we see a crash like we, we had the other day we were down at like 1.3 trillion 1.2 trillion because bitcoin was had so much dominance now it's like i mean it's eventually over time it's gonna average out to where it's literally bitcoin dominance is not gonna matter it's not gonna, much, it's yeah. gonna overtake the crypto space it's gonna be like hey bitcoin dropped down to like thirty thousand, but hey but xrp is at like eight bucks and solana's at like 250. it's just gonna average out we're gonna go steady rock like a boat 2 trillion to 2.5 trillion 3 trillion 4 trillion 10 trillion yeah hopefully. and then it's not gonna be like one side you know like the scale is like well, yeah the seesaw it's not yeah. gonna be like that anymore all right guys moving on to some news now this news right here guys is uh gonna be a, a super deep dive it's the only news we're gonna be talking about today aside from the uh, nft news but uh this one is a deep dive so Grab your soda, grab your drink, grab your popcorn, because we're about to go on a ride. Oh, look at Le Le that Leonardo DiCaprio meme. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, here we go, guys. Now, from the title of this, you would probably be like, well, what the heck is this even about? Most but people will skip by this. We're going to get into right? it, man. Don't so, Grayscale, ETCs, BCH, and LTC Trust, now SEC reporting 
companies. So instead of me kind of butchering it, I'm going to let John give you the, the nitty gritty because he really dived in this. We talked about this on our TikTok. So if you guys want to catch out the catch the short version of it, mm-hmm. then he- definitely head and follow us on TikTok. Yeah, but, by short, it's still three minutes, though. But still. <laughs> But still, that's but still, still that's, yeah, that's, you know what I'm saying. But this is gonna be a deep dive, fam. We're gonna be on this for about you know 10 15 minutes. I hope not. I hope we don't bore you guys to death. But uh, but go I ahead, John, take it away, fam. Let them let them know what's going down, man. Let them so, know what's going down. So, if you guys didn't know, Grayscale is one of the largest trust fund companies. Right. So, what they do is they take money from very wealthy people and they take their money, hey, give us your money. And what they do is, hey, we'll, we'll make sure you make money, we'll put money into assets and investments that will make you money and the very very wealthy people don't most of the time don't know what they're investing in they just trust right. that company because it has a long history of success exactly and there's hundreds of these grayscale is just one of the biggest one and they're actually f- like basically affiliated with digital currency group which is digital currency group is the largest asset fund that just focuses on crypto yeah that's why their name is digital currency group but grayscale has normally been with other they've done other assets and everything like that right. now they're adding crypto to their portfolio they've been adding it for years now so now basically this news just came out today saying hey we're basically creating a new trust that that has bitcoin cash litecoin and ethereum classic and they report to the sec they tell the sec hey this is how much money our our wealthy clients are wanting to put into to these projects that we're going to put money in for them. Right. So remember, these rich people, they're not doing what we do. They don't have their phone. They don't log into Coinbase. <laughs> yeah. They don't, they don't face ID. And like, you know what I say in the morning? It's they don't they, they're they're more like if they want to invest ten million dollars into bitcoin cash yeah. they're not going to go on their phone and load up and then and then go they're going to call steve in new york in the office hey steve i got ten million dollars on my wire to the trust right now i want you to invest it for me into litecoin or the trust or whatever you think that's going to make me money grayscale says, okay they're going to call whatever deal or partnership they have whether it's coinbase they have a private account yep. and they're going to put the money in there for them so what's going on, on? Backing, yeah. yeah so what's going on is they're in basically they're basically setting up the blueprint where a lot of these other trust funds are going to follow. Yep. And that's what we, I was saying in the TikTok is these big, big, wealthy pocket players. I don't know if that sounded right, yeah, but they're matter. drooling. They're drooling, waiting for <sighs> all ETFs, trust tr- uh, funds, all this stuff, because they don't know what the technology is. They, they have no, they don't care. They right. just, they will just this make, make money. me money? And yeah. Grayscale's like, yes, it's going to make you money. I mean, Grayscale, <laughs> Grayscale didn't really start being super profitable until they started adding Bitcoin yes. to their Yes, that know, was the thing. Yeah, I remember so, that. That's good. I didn't even remember that. That's good yeah. that, that uh, you brought that up because they said that they, they've made, even that thing is crazy, is random. Tesla even said, we didn't become, make more money until we pop bitcoin exactly. but that's beside the point what's going on here is these guys are creating little gift boxes with cryptos that grayscale say hey this little box here we're gonna put 50 million of all our money in here okay here cool 25 million here and they're just setting the they're setting the pathway for all the big people big players to walk down that path that we're not gonna be able to walk down yeah because we don't have that type we, of money our luxury which is probably never gonna ever happen again Right. I think may have never happened in history. Maybe maybe the internet, but back then yeah. we didn't really know how to invest. There's no technology to invest back then. Right. You can't look up. You couldn't. Google was just barely coming out. You didn't know Google. What was Google going to be before Google became what it is today? Exactly. How would you have known? How would you have gone on the internet and looked up? How do I invest into Google? You Google was. You didn't even know how to use Google yet. Exactly. So we're. This is like the only time in history where we can actually research these cryptos on our own. And invest in them early before these big players are doing it their way right they're just going to turn crypto into their version of how they invest which we would never be able to do because we don't have the billions of dollars we just have to put our hundreds couple thousand in and when they put their money in it's going to push our price up and now we're okay cool we may not be billionaires but we might be thousandaires hundred thousand and it's not only about the money it's just the game they're going to take it over and make it a money thing just like the stock market yeah you could you could really like amazon you could really love what Amazon does for the world, but it's about money to them. Yeah. And you know what I mean? If you buy Amazon stock, 
you can't expect it to unless you're putting in real real money you can't really expect to make yeah you know and you could really like return, amazon like know? i love amazon right like i love amazon prime i love what they do for the comp the, the world but to them they don't give a sh they, it's about the money for them tesla yeah. apple is apple drop is gonna be good some people really want the apple phone like i love the iphone right yeah but they don't care like is it gonna make is it gonna be good is it gonna be good is it gonna make the money that's what that's that's what this the 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 board when they go have a meeting that's why steve jobs got kicked off the first time because he wasn't about the money yeah why well, think they kicked him off and then when they realized when he was gone they weren't doing well like oh we do need him he's right exactly so they compromised and they yeah. brought him back yeah that's all it is to them that's they're gonna turn crypto into that you could really love what adam does you could really love what xrp does you could love what ADA is. they don't care exactly they is don't it care you're gonna, gonna make them money yeah so and, that and grayscale is gonna be one of the first ones to like john said pave the way for every for all the other asset groups because there's there's hundreds if not slide. thousands look, of poor, them poor. bro <laughs> it's just they're it's waiting crazy and they're just waiting for these etfs and um <laughs> michael saylor he he wanted to he his whole thing was to push the etfs he wanted the etfs yeah and um now with him working with the sec and, and giving him all the information i'm pretty sure he's going to get those etfs that's what's going on that's you what's know, going on they're sure they're, they're working it. literally the title says they're now sec reporting companies what does that mean they're working with the sec hey they're telling the sec hey we have this amount of money that's ready to go into these crypto projects or they're well they're the, the investors aren't the ones deciding what crypto is investing it's the the trust funds that are doing it but they're telling the sec hey we have millions and millions and millions of dollars ready to go into these uh cryptos right and yeah. there's gonna be more please continue to regulate because they they don't know they're scared and we want to know which one's good which one's bad to invest in right it's it's all a game they're all in on it together the sec is going after everything to make sure that these guys can make their money safely the funny thing don't care about us. that i was thinking about as we were talking about this is imagine the job market right there's going to be people they're going to grayscale is going to need people like us that have the understanding of what crypto is has been around for a while to be like look we need to figure out which tokens or which coins does what what use case do they have and we need to hire people to do that so if you have that knowledge hold on to that man that's going to be something that you can use in the future that will make you tons and tons of money for these type of companies if you're like them typical like nine to five type people you know what i'm saying which is not bad don't get me wrong but you know if you don't you know own your own business or whatever the case may be your knowledge that you have right now of understanding how crypto works how blockchain works how you know oracles work things of that nature you're gonna be you're gonna be so valuable it's like back in the day when people were asking uh you know go to school get a degree blah 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 blah. now it's not even going to be about that it's going to be about yeah your how, understanding it's just how can you make me money that's all it's ever been yeah and look there's like three things i wanted to read the the way it's paved like we were saying yeah they're paving the way that part right there and then this at one? the bottom yeah that part and then that part right there okay so uh this fact makes them um regulators just like publicly traded companies on the nasdaq and the nys the new york stock exchange new york stock it exchange. turns them into stocks basically um according to the company's ceo michael uh, shana shine that's a cold right. name brother uh grayscale investors have been desiring this to they've happen been waiting. they've been waiting bro they've been just you know you know like when you see a like a rib you're just like oh that's gonna be good it's too, hot. It's it's too hot to bite into you just gotta wait for it to cool off a little bit you're like yeah that's what's happening right now uh he also uh, stated that turning these crypto trusts into sec reporting companies opens them up to potential wider inflow of investors who expect to see this type of reporting to the regulator, to the regulator. they're working with the sec the regulators the sec they're they're gonna have open dialogue with the sec and that's why the sec is gonna try and clean the sec what the sec is is the fullback for the for them yeah, it's clearing up the way, hey, clean the way. Give them to the touchdown. That's it. That's all the SEC is doing right now. It's all. Yep. And then most people aren't even going to read this and 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 realize this is happening behind the scenes. Yeah. Everyone's here bickering and arguing, worrying about like all this other stuff. They're going to take it over. They're going to. And, and that's, that's <laughs> it's just going to happen. That's the cool thing about it, though. Think about it, right? If you're an investor into these type of companies, uh, whether it be Cardano, Ethereum, XRP, whatever, whatever you're invested in, right? And these asset firms like Grayscale package up a pretty little package in a bow and says hey this is a risky bet but it could potentially do a hundred x or whatever the company's like all right cool i got 50 million dollars i'm gonna just throw it in there i want a 10 percent return or eight percent return whatever what do you think that's gonna do 
for those cryptos? Do you think it's going to stay? The market cap's going to stay at, you know, under two trillion dollars It's going to continue to rise and rise and rise. And if you're in those and you have a decent position in them, you're going to be sitting there back like, dang. It's like, it's like the uh, wave. Sick. You're having your little board and then the waves are going to come up. You're going to ride up. Whoa. You're just going to be riding the wave, bro. <laughs> That's it. And all the people, all yeah. your friends and family that you've been telling every single day, bro, look at the crypto, look at the crypto. And they're looking at you like, bro, I'm not. Yes. I don't know what that is. I don't know what you're talking about. That sounds like a Ponzi scheme to me. So no, thank you. This is, this is the thing that I feel like needs to be said. Us you the viewers we're not what's gonna take crypto to the 10 trillion dollar market cap nope. it's not gonna be us nope it would have happened already exactly it's not gonna be us it's going to be these guys yeah because that's where all the money is the, the, this is the where baby this, boomers. this the crypto 300 million people yes that's that's great out of 7 billion people but these guys there's like 2300 billionaires in the world it takes Three to four, five, six, ten of them, ten of them, a billion dollars each to make another trillion go up. There's two thousand of them, and yeah. they have multiple billions. They have uh, hundreds of billions of dollars. And that's the one. So that imagine you know. ten people put two two billion dollars each. That's two trillion dollars. So now imagine twenty people put two trillion dollars, and now the math is gonna get crazier. It's gonna be four or five trillion dollars. It's just ne It's it's it's. And on top of the retail investors, of course, on top of 300 million investors going into 500 million to eventually a billion right. retail investors to go along with these big boys, they're going to is what's going to push the crypto market cap into full mass adoption and then make it literally, literally just like the stock exchange. They're going to turn crypto into their game. They're going to turn into their stock stock thing and and how people are over here like manipulating GameStop and AMC like, oh, that's good for you. They're, they're, and look what they happened. They got pissed yeah because they got they got they got margin call so they're gonna so. take over they're gonna take over crypto and you will survive in crypto if you understand the technology you have a place and they're invested in because it. they don't know so they'll listen they'll in a sense take you know what i'm saying you can survive in crypto if you know the technology right in the stock market whether you know the technology or not the money is too too high now yeah you can't yeah. manipulate amazon what are you gonna do with it you can't manipulate apple what are you gonna do with crypto you're not, it's not like you're manipulating but you can educate. You can have a place to survive. Exactly. And you're going to be valuable. Believe yeah, it or not, you can you, survive. You will be valuable in a couple of years when when they need, you know, uh, I forget the, the, the company that was looking for, I think it was Amazon. I could be wrong about that. Don't quote me. But they were looking for people that had to under, the understanding of, of blockchain crypto, yeah. and crypto. And Walmart, too. They were looking Walmart, for them. Walmart's looking for people that, hey, we want to get into crypto. How, how can we use NFTs? How can we use um, VeChain? Like, how, how can we help? I, remember, I don't know if I said this yesterday in the podcast, but there's so many big companies, Google, Walmart, Amazon, mm -hmm. um, Microsoft, that are probably, they've already announced partnerships with a lot of cryptos, but I guarantee oh, yeah, you they yeah, have yeah. so many more on their list that we can't wait to work with them. We can't yeah. wait to work with them. But but what are they afraid of? The SEC lurking around the corner. Ooh, Walmart work with them? We're going to sue you. Because yeah. that type of information lands on the SEC's desk. Exactly. The SEC does is not they're not gonna be looking at eleven thousand cryptos and see okay this is a security they're just waiting to see what's going on oh Amazon likes them how can we get some money off of that mm. exactly oh Amazon wants to invest seventeen million dollars in this little cryptocurrency called whatever whatever mm. okay they don't even care what it does hey looks like you're offering your security here Let's just show up at the doorstep <laughs> you know what I mean it looks like you're offering the security. We're gonna take a look. Yeah, I'm just saying we're gonna take a that's, look. <laughs> I don't want to get on super rant, but that's all, it, man. Like we can we can literally go on and on and on for hours about this, guys. But the bottom yeah. line is, <laughs> the bottom line is, do your research. If you're on the fence about crypto, man, just do your research. Have the understanding. Just have, real life. Have the mindset of, I want to create generational wealth for me and my family. If that's really what you want to do, then this is the time to do it. We're not going to give you, oh, go into this token, go into this one, go into that. We're not going to do You're not going to find that on the yeah. show. You know what I'm saying? We talk about different type of coins because that's what we're doing. We're and just we're, documenting. Yeah, we're documenting. We're hoping that you say, ah, why are they talking about this? It, it must be, you know, important. That's what we hope to you for you guys to do. We don't want you to believe a god darn thing we talk about. You know, or, or say that about. That was funny. God darn. God, yeah, I, I wanted to say something else, but God I couldn't. Damn. You know, I would have had to go. You know what I'm saying? So I want you guys to have your own mind. So then when you when you do your research and you get in, you feel comfortable about what you're putting your money into. 
long story short, you know, I went around ring around Rosie a little bit, but you get the point. All right. You get the freaking point. Now, you have the luxury of looking this stuff up. Your exactly. grandparents, your parents never had the luxury of looking this crap up and they missed out on millions of dollars because they couldn't do research. It's open game right now. It's fair game right now. Yep. Listen to John, man. He's spitting facts. Hot fire. All right. Moving on to the NFT news, guys. 101 aboard ape nft auctions at so the bot sotheby's sotheby's, sotheby's uh closes at more million? than 24 million isn't this one Steph curry bought he bought one yep yep they've been board eight yacht club bro has literally been crazy if you guys don't know what it is this is board eight yacht club this is this is the apes the floor right now <sighs> is well just change a little bit but it's 32 ethereum which will equate to a hundred and four thousand dollars imagine paying a hundred and four thousand dollars for a profile picture people are doing it because board eight yacht club literally is just a profile they picture have no utility on that, huh? it, it, it doesn't doesn't do anything there's no game attached to it it's, it's just literally like ah a flex i got a board eight yacht club now what that's basically what that is bro and hey man it's literally the one that that took off like pudgy penguins pudgy penguins took off but it's never been on the level at board eight yacht club yeah never yeah it's you know so, so and this risky. is crazy bro it's so risky this is crazy like me personally if i owned a board eight yacht club bro i would be selling the f out of it i'm not even gonna cap right now yeah i would say hey i used to own it exactly <laughs> like 100 100 bands like i mean you can look at it and say like oh bro it could potentially be more as the years go on but like 100 grand is life-changing money because definitely with the knowledge and understanding that we have we could turn that 100 grand into a million quick you know what I'm saying? Would I want to hold a profile picture that I could literally use on Instagram, on Twitter, on on Facebook? You know what I'm saying? Or would yeah. I have the? Or would I want that hundred grand where I could be like, I'm gonna create generational wealth for everyone around me, for my whole yeah. team? You know what for I'm this saying? Damn picture. I, I wouldn't do it, bro. I, I that's just me. I, you might call me dumb. You might call me stupid. Like, hey, are they all I, sold out? I, I'll roll with it. Yeah, you can't. Be, and the only way to buy it is through here. Resale? Open C, resale. resale. Oh yeah. Or an auction. They have auctions literally like every week. Man, it's crazy. It's crazy, bro. Like, like it's crazy. The thing about NFTs though is like you can get. I have some, right? We both have some. I have yeah, like probably I, six or seven. My NFT that I got in, I, I, I've been stuck holding. Just holding them. Yeah. I've been stuck yeah. holding them. Bro. I've been getting offers them. on one. Shout out to the Fame Lady Squad. I've been holding mine. I've gotten some good offers. I've the closest I got was basically matching what I paid for it in a sense. But yeah. But in, in, at the end of the day, it's it's really really risky because 100%. more risky than crypto because you can buy some that take off like a pudgy penguin. You're like, oh man, I bought this for two hundred bucks. Now I'm selling it for eight grand. Like that's that, that happened yeah, to a lot you of people. Should, you should do that though. You should yeah. sell it. You know what I'm saying? Like not financial advice or anything, bro. But you gotta realize these are only as valuable as people are willing to pay for yeah. them. Yeah, and it depends on who vouches for them. Like if Steph Curry bought one of these. But that's a that's a multi-millionaire he just signed a contract for like 250 million dollars yeah. like like steph curry's a multi-millionaire he bought it just for fun exactly if i was that rich i'd do it too <laughs> i bought three of them play the game you know play the freaking game bro and, and him doing that as fun makes other people go oh, steph curry bought one it makes the value go up even more higher because it's exactly. like it's like having an autograph you have an autograph of a cd that cd is gonna be more of like you went to the concert and then the musician or artist signed your cd your cd is gonna be way more valuable than the guy that just bought his cd at target even though you bought yours at target too but the the actual person drew on it that's and why then, that's why gary v's freaking uh nfts are so what and is, it's just little drawings what is hold on let me see uh, what are what are they called uh well, i love v gary friends. V though, but v yeah right there friends Look at let's see what their floor is. See their floor is eighteen Ethereum, and look at these ETFs. I mean it, ETFs. It, it, oh, sorry it, it, NFTs. Sorry sorry <laughs> sorry NFTs. They, I mean he drew these himself though. Just just FYI. every single one. He drew every all of single these. one. Um, but his have utility though, right? Yeah. So this one is sixty thousand is the floor on these on V friends, and basically what these do, like you can look at the pop the traits and um all of that and i think it gives you details on where you get to go to his like on um, what it ha what like what they do i think you get stuff. to go to like yeah his vcon yeah so it says this token is verifiable uh for admission to vcon for 2022 2023 and 2024 so That's for three years. years you can get admission to vcon and i don't know how much the tickets cost to vcon but i could 
probably guess there's somewhere in the tens but, of thousands. But you get to meet him. You get to be there. You're going to be there with like a, oh, I got his NFT. Like, yeah. You know? But even some of these NFTs, they, they even do an additional thing more so than just yeah. a mission. Some of them is like, you can go to dinner with him. Some of them, yeah, you can play the gold one with, with him. Yeah, you can have FaceTime with yeah, him. Yeah, go play tennis with him. Like, there's just, there's just different I'm ones. Just, bro. I'm just curious, though. I'm like, so if you sell this, will you lose access to all that stuff? Yes. You have to give it to the next person? Yes. Whoever owns it will get it. So that's why a lot of people are holding them. Yeah. So exactly. it's, like, it's like a, you care about the money or do you care about the experience of meeting Gary Vee? which one is more valuable to you yeah you know what i'm saying because if you have the opportunity imagine <laughs> Look at that cat, imagine bro Look at just that think cat. about it for a second right you have an admission ticket to go talk to gary v sit down and have a conversation have dinner with him say this one is the one you have dinner with him right and you get to pick his brain and say hey you know you know gary i've, I've been thinking about this this project and i want to start this company and gary v says damn i like that okay let's do it your life will literally change overnight. Yeah. But if you decided, you know what, bro, I'm gonna just get the little 60k right now, which is not little. Let me you know, back up. <laughs> I'll take it. But um, I'll just take the money right now and say, forget about it. And then if you don't have financial literacy and understand how money works, and you end up broke again, then you just miss out on your opportunity of a lifetime. So I don't know. It's like a give or get type thing, man. I don't know. I don't know. But I personally, man. Knowing what I know now and the knowledge that I have now, not saying that I know everything. Come on, guys. But from what I understand about, you know, crypto and, and, and financial literacy and things of that nature, I could turn that 60 into 200,000, 300,000, 500,000. Easy. You know? Yeah. You know, so that's just my two cents on it, man. I, I don't take my word for it. You know what I'm saying? Just saying, take a look. Just saying, take a look. All right, moving on to the uh, the tweets of the day, man. Now, these tweets of the day give you some perspective of what people are talking about on Twitter. Now, shout out to Jerry Hogan, attorney Jeremy One. He says Ripple's first uh, request for admissions to the SEC was attached to the most recent court filing in its um, admission, uh, SEC admission. That was never told to anyone that XRP was a security until the lawsuit was filed. That is now an official admission in the case. Woo! So put a round of applause for Jeremy Hogan, please, please. Round of applause for you, buddy. You guys need to go check out his YouTube. We just start playing some of his clips too. He got that guy speaks facts. But yeah. yeah, what's going on is when Ripple first um I believe requested something from the SEC. Like uh I, I don't wanna, you know, ramble about it, but they basically gave information to the SEC about what they were doing. The SEC at that time said they never said, Hey, this is a security. What you're doing is a security. Right. So Ripple's defense right now is a fair notice defense argument which basically in a nutshell means hey we're not we're not we're doing this as if we didn't know like we we didn't know what we were doing was wrong so like the sec is saying hey you're doing this and you knew it was wrong it's like right. like committing that's why there's different levels of of um crime right like murder you what is it the first degree like first degree, you know degree, you woke up and you degree. decide you're gonna do this today and what is what is the one when you hit somebody in a car and it was an accident um uh, it's like um assault or aggravated or i don't know something, something like that right you guys know. will correct me but you guys know what i'm saying it's it's you wake up and you know hey i'm gonna freaking attack this person today assault yeah. right i'm gonna attack you i don't like you i'm gonna go look for you and i'm gonna beat you up yeah the other one is oh i'm defending myself yeah but then if you hurt the guy you get in trouble but it's not as bad as if you went out and looked for him and punched him in the face yeah it wasn't malicious <laughs> right yeah yeah so basically what what what's going on ripple is hey we're at we need the money to to create xrp we're doing this we're doing this was like back in 2013 yeah. you know what i'm saying they, they went out and did this and they basically have proof they actually just said yeah we didn't tell them that what they were doing is wrong because we didn't know we didn't even know it was wrong so how the hell are you gonna sue eight years later saying hey you shouldn't have done it you shouldn't have done it we asked you we gave you, didn't, you, the you didn't say don't do it you did we just you literally said we don't know we don't we never admitted it was a security and the whole time, and this is a whole other thing. You've been buying XRP in the for anyway. <laughs> like it's just, it's just, it's over. The case is over. The case is, it's over. It's wrapped up. This is a bow right every now. news that comes out is always benefiting Ripple. And the only time that went didn't was the SC got a little win. Oh, the judge said, "Well, you guys, you guys gotta send the conversations over to." Um, yeah, that was the only like quote unquote. Wow. Thing. Yeah. Wow, you're gonna see their employees talking about XRP. Ooh, when XRP hits the wow, like you, they, and then the funny thing is, this SEC was doing it too. They've been doing it too, yeah, hundred percent. They were manipulating. They were Bitcoin's on security, Ethereum's on security, deuces. 
All right, guys. So we took care of the Ethereum and Bitcoin for y'all. Let's go make some money. Exactly. That's what they did. Exactly. That's what they did. 100%. 100%. We, and, and we're pausing XRP, so XRP won't pass them. So you guys can make money off of Bitcoin. And, <laughs> oh, gosh. It's, it's crazy, man. Moving on, guys. Uh, shout out to Mansour. Uh, es, Esquivel Mansour. Yeah, Esquivel Mansour. Is, it, is it French? Mansour. Mansour. Uh, Esquivel sure. Mansour. Um, it might be a, a she. Oh. I can't tell. Um, sorry. I apologize. Sorry. I, I didn't even say me. I apologize. But it's um, a cool name. I had so much quant <laughs> at some point. As you guys know, we do talk about quant on this channel. Um, but got greedy and tried to make money fast in other places. No need to say I f***ed up. Not, uh, do not rush. I know the same ride is coming in to ALBT. I love ALBT. Albert Token. Uh, we talk about that one as well on the channel. We've been talking about it for Sad a Albert. while now. Albert. Um, build a solid bag and what is FFs? I have no idea. I don't know. And FFs. Don't try to be a smart like uh, I did. Uh, you just have to huddle and chill. Now, this doesn't have to equate to just quant or ALBT. This is literally for any fundamental crypto out there. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of time. Like I made a TikTok yesterday. It was a meme, but I made a TikTok talking about, oh, I exited my position out of one. And then right after it blew up. You know what I'm saying? So if you've been holding a crypto for a while, like, uh, for example, HBAR. A lot of people are like, dude, H bar is a snail. It's not moving. It's, it's gonna blow up soon. It's gonna blow up soon, guys. I've been, yeah, I've and been you're gonna be pissed so much. off if you freaking get out, exit out of it because you want to put it into something else and it doesn't take off how you want to. And then next thing you know, H bar blows up to like yeah. three dollars. You're gonna be like, God, ah, I've been holding it for. Ah. You're yeah. gonna be so pissed, bro. <laughs> and this is this is proof of it. So believe in the project and have faith in the project exactly man if you're gonna put your money into it it's because you've done your research you have an understanding you know exactly what it's supposed to do how it's supposed to change the world you just have to wait all this instant gratification is killing our generation man it's really killing us because we we sit here and we we think that oh if we invest into this we're going to be a millionaire in a month from now that's not how it works but once regulation cracks that's how it's going to work 100 percent. i can say that without without question yeah just do everyone here i just think everyone thinks that they're being all cool and cute with their cryptos i'm like yeah you have the we have the moment now yeah. but when the big boys get in you you <laughs> you're irrelevant you're an ant to them yeah you could everyone here is talking about all this and i love this i love this talking talk about it on twitter all the early investor hey when they get in it's not yours anymore just enjoy the ride enjoy the and ride. believe in technology learn it and go from there you can't you're not gonna don't worry about the price you're not gonna worry about the price anymore it's just gonna be what it is you have to become them you have to have the mentality of being a billionaire whether you make a hundred thousand a million dollars right right you're gonna have to turn into that you can't be bickering with people here and there anymore at that point the big boys are gonna take it over you have to play the game like them because exactly. you're gonna have wealth if you're an early adopter and you believe in technology and you hold you will be successful in the crypto space and you will have to change the way you think about life it's just gonna change you can't do the same thing you're doing or else you're gonna lose it all exactly. and then when you lose it all there's no second chance nope that's it there's no there's no you're never gonna have this chance again you're never a lot of people are gonna back. be a lot of people are gonna get a lot of wealth yeah a lot of people a lot of, just like how many people got wrecked a lot of people got wrecked it goes both ways a lot of people got wrecked but a lot of people are gonna get a lot of money as well it's inevitable which side of the coin are you going to be on? and then if you make that money are you going to allow yourself to get wrecked again worrying about the wrong things once it's in and crypto is five years from now crypto is fully adopted or on the way to basically be full adopted it's a seven trillion dollar market cap the big players create etfs and all this stuff yeah and you have hundreds of thousands of dollars and you're still bickering on twitter over this crypto and telling people to buy it stop you gotta stop telling people to buy in at that point you just it, you got to start building generational wealth, start monetizing your knowledge, start yeah. building businesses, start building brands and start diversifying. Yeah, yeah. at that point, the game, is it's going to be too late for the average person. that missed it. 100%. It's going to be too late for them. 100%. There's no point in worrying about it anymore. Yeah. If you're if you're if you're in a family that has a baby boomer um, as a parent, which, you know, most of us do. Uh, a lot of the baby boomer parents don't understand this. They think that it's a, f a fad and it's just going to disappear <laughs> tomorrow. And if you listen to that narrative or if you listen to mainstream media, you you'll miss out. And on this channel, man, we try our best to help you get an understanding 
of how this you know the crypto game is played that's the whole value that we bring to you guys you know we do it on this channel every single day we do it on our tiktok our twitter our instagram every single day we talk in the discord right here if you guys join our public discord the link is always down in the description down below you're going to be around like-minded people that have the same knowledge and understanding that you want to have potentially so guys we're at the end of the show yeah, if we didn't guys... go to the market overall market overview. Oh, though. I'm tripping. But it's all good. I mean, yeah. it's the 40 minute. Hey, just click on it and show real quick. <laughs> my, <laughs> bad, my bad, my bad. <laughs> We're at the end of the show, but let me show you guys real quick the market gainers and losers. I apologize. I did mess up. Um, but as you guys can see, if we go to 24 yeah, hours. Yeah, showing the thing. <laughs> Harmony, show, one, Harmony one is at Quan, the top spot. Man. Quan hit 392 this morning. I saw my notification hit 392. And then oh, people it took profits. Yeah, I, was, I mean, Dude, I don't know if it was a glitch. Yeah. But I saw it, it. My phone told me Quan's at three ninety two. I'm like, what the heck? It was like four in the morning, four thirty in the morning. Almost four hundred dollar like, Quan. That's crazy. But Harmony One, man, is uh, one, two, three, four. Has really dollars. taken off lately, and uh, I'm I'm kind of happy. I've been holding it for a little bit, so uh, I'm kind of happy to finally see Harmony One doing some things. Uh, Alliance Block, as we did talk about in the tweet, ALBT. Um, Dag finally hit the top spot uh, at that that fourth spot. It's been down for a while. Um, even yesterday, it was down. It was literally all the way at the bottom. And then everything else is just super duper red. Even Elf is, is down. Um, almost hit $1, but then retraced back down to that 83 cents. Couldn't break resistance, I guess. Um, HBAR is up from uh, that 28 cents it was yesterday. So, yeah, guys. Sorry, I do apologize. I did should have went over the market gainers and losers. But I was basically got caught up in the hype of explaining to you guys the value that we bring on this channel. And um, I really hope that you guys do see that. And if you do, then definitely subscribe to the channel, man. Like the video as it does help other people to see this and have that understanding, especially if you want to help out, you know, fellow investors or newer investors. Uh, it will definitely help them out as well. OK, guys, thank you so much for watching. Peace out. Peace.